And welcome back, folks. Welcome back to about the game. Now, I've I mean, no Kamal's not here. Well, Kamal's not here today, but um, I've had a really annoying thing to just recently. I've just had to do the whole of what I did in the last part again because it didn't auto save. But we're here anyway. So let's talk to um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Now, I know it's a... Interesting. A what do you mean star, interesting? Explain the videos. What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but... Wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers. What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Whoa, Dad, book. what are you telling me? You say Mom's a drunk? Shh. I don't know for sure that your mother has relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? Rations? That's a good boy. Okay, we, need Dad, okay. we need to talk. I have so many problems with this. First of all, I understand it's 1986 so you still have video replays, but if you've got walls that clean themselves, then you should at least have some better, like a DVD dog wood, but okay, that's first. Second of all, double rations. Are we in a war? I don't think so. <sighs> What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um... I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. Oh, really? I wouldn't guess that. You're kidding. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they oh, to apply well, the most advanced social planning well, we already knew that, to but... our municipality. But, what? Confidentially, not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private, well, just listen. I tell you, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. Well, you get the idea. Uh, sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention well, and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. He's not going to shoot the messenger. It's about Mom. She's thinking about signing up for the Citizen Plus program. Is she now? You're not going to let her go through with it, are you? Well, from what I hear, it's a fairly drastic procedure which completely reshapes the subject's personality. On the other hand, if Citizen Brown recommends it, it's got to be a good thing. 
No, it isn't. Don't you think Mom would be a little more relaxed if you gave her just a little bit of space? Now, there's a fine suggestion. What would Hill Valley be like if people gave each other space? Why, we'd all be tempted to follow our own impulses, and Whoa. there's no telling where that might lead. So we have to, uh, from what I'm guessing, I think we have to fix Dad again in this one. How'd she get to be such a mess? This isn't how she is in my, in my perfect world. You're right, it's a real puzzle. Because of course we both know Hill Valley is a perfect world. But for some peculiar reason, the harder I try to get her to conform to the rules, the more she slips up. Hmm, something on your mind? It's about me. I'm all ears. I'm trying to understand why Jennifer broke up with me in this time. Uh, you recent past. Are you still mooning over that girl? Forget her! She's bad news! Why, my surveillance <laughs> cameras have caught her doing things that, that are completely against the Hill Valley Code. I don't want to know. Kissing boys. Sitting with boys in cars. I've kept quiet about it for her father's sake, but believe me, you're well rid of her. Well, I like her. What? You, uh, is there anywhere you expect me to be, like, right now? Well, I did expect you to be up at the lake until tomorrow with that math and magic competition, so I guess your time is pretty much your own right now. Good. Well, uh, from certain things I've heard, I get the idea that people in this town regard Marty McFly as a, as a what? A nerd. They said that? In so many words. Just because a boy studies hard and gets straight A's and respects the rules and doesn't party or drink or stay out late and is perhaps a bit socially inept and obsessed with personal hygiene and prefers his rubber band collection Stop. to... I really don't want to hear anymore. I'm proud of you, son. Okay, different subject. Yeah? It's about someone we both know. Yes? Have you ever spent time with Citizen Brown? Well, of course I'm in the audience for every one of his public addresses. One-on-one, -on -one, I mean. Oh, no. He'd never notice a common Sector L citizen like me. But I dream that someday he'll recognize me for my public service and maybe let me shake his hand. Oh, dear God. Uh, David and Linda, have you heard from them? No, I thought maybe you had. <sighs> Not in ages. As far as I know, he's still working for the big city newspaper and she's still in that women's boarding house. I'll never understand why they decided to leave Hill Valley. Oh, I can. What can you tell me about Edna? Mrs. Citizen Brown? Oh, she's a wonderful woman. People just think of her as this sweet, self-effacing, grandmotherly type. Edna? <laughs> Are we talking about the same? But really, she's just as involved in running the town as her husband is. Have you seen Biff lately? Not since he went to the reconditioning center. Is he back among the living? Depends on what you mean by living. He's really different from the way I remember him. Lucky dog. In a way, it isn't fair that Hill Valley's biggest scofflaw should be the first to receive the benefits of the new Citizens Plus program. But I know I shouldn't be jealous. Hmm. That's Something on your mind? What's the deal with the house, Dad? I don't know how to tell you this, son. But while you were away at your math and magic competition, our house got slapped with a CZ-36 violation. What? I know, it's so embarrassing. Your mother's mortified. She works so hard to keep a clean house, but those dust mites are so hard to keep down. Wait a minute, we can't go into the house because of dust mites? Well, not until they send in the cleanup crew. This is ridiculous. No, it's actually Thank going with goodness, it, they let me move my office out here into the garage. Hill Valley has a lot of rules. It certainly does, for our own good. Yeah, I don't believe that. Did you ever harbor a dangerous animal? Aha! Couldn't if I wanted to. They've all been banned. But I did catch something very interesting on one of my monitors yesterday. Einstein. Which one was it? Oh, yes! 
Does that look like a stray dog to you? Whatever it is, Edna's Animal Patrol will make short work of it. If I got caught with a contraband item, I'd get in a lot of trouble, right? You certainly would. You could be facing up to a thousand demerits depending on the item. But of course, you wouldn't be caught dead with anything illegal. It's your mother I'm worried about. Public kissing is illegal, right? Ah, the old PDA law. Indeed it is. And what's more, violation carries a hefty load of demerits. But you know, it's a law people break with surprising regularity. But I could show you videotaped evidence. How exactly do people get other people to break it? On second thought, perhaps I shouldn't show you the videotaped evidence. Hmm. Something on your mind? Hmm. Just off, ask about... So about you and your, uh, work. Shoot. You're supposed to be, I mean, A wouldn't you rather right, yeah. spend your time writing, say, science fiction novels? Science fiction. I did mess around with that once, but that was before Citizen Brown made it illegal. Science fiction's science illegal? Fiction illegal. Sci-fi promotes an unhealthy obsession with the fantastic and impossible, and it encourages the idea that there might be better societies than oh, Hill Valley, dear God. which is subversive nonsense, of course. You seem to be really into this spying business. It's not spying, son. It's cinema verite. These candid moments of Hill Valley's residents will eventually be compiled and edited into the documentaries and promotional materials that advertise our way same. of life to the rest of the world. True, you can argue that I've taken things to extremes, but I still get up to take my meals and, of course, to use the facilities. Okay, different subject. Yeah? Okay. Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure. Not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. How exactly does this setup work? I'm glad to see you taking an interest. Each of these monitors is connected to multiple cameras, of which okay. I've strategically jacked into throughout the valley, with a visual clearance, of course. Track. I can There's switch between cameras with these buttons. Well. There's also a VCR for each monitor. I keep a record of everything I see. So, if I happen across something intriguing, I can keep it on file. Okay, right. Let's get talk about that. Let's well, talk to get, I'll leave get... you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. I'll leave you to it. Right. My guitar. Okay, you can get my guitar. The perfect place to live. No one to irony. Hey, what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. Ah. Uh. Oh, hell no. Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... Just take it, you... My... My... my just a take it. Girl it's only gonna like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl. You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little hellion? She's nothing but trouble. Yeah. My kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only can... gonna drive her further up. Go ahead, son. Do your worst. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. You could. Why didn't you just? I would have just took Morning, it. Mrs. Brown. Please address me as Mrs. Citizen Brown. What? Right. Okay. Oh. Oh. What is the problem, Citizen? Oops. Wrong number. What is the problem, Citizen? Uh, everything's perfectly all right now. We're, uh, we're fine. We're all fine now. Thank you. Uh, how are you? Go tell me the problem, citizen. Yeah, I'll have a double-double animal style with fries and a diet. That's it. It's called an emergency intercom for a reason. I'm wrapping you for an SCR 300. Take your demerit print out before you go. Right, 
well, we've done this bit here, so um, let's go back. I'm hoping to get another demerit that I might have missed. Another dry day dry. I said die another day for some reason. Man. Right, we've done that. Right, let's go talk to Mum. Mum? In fact, actually, I'm going to cut it off here. It's been a while now. So, I hope you've enjoyed this part. Hopefully, in the next few parts, and hopefully, I might do another one of my own in the next few parts. The camera will be back to come, come to it and give me some bit more motivation. You know, point out some more references, and yeah, hope you enjoy the video, folks. I'm gone.